if these models you know, can fit one or two, seven billion parameters, depending on what GPU you're using, you can maybe fit one or two in your GPU, uh, you start to run out of GPU memory um, for lots of models. LoRa changes that narrative because it, it says I have a base model and then some low rank approximation that I can apply. Um, I actually haven't seen good results on, on not materializing that low rank approximation, but it sounds like you guys have found ways to do that, to, to be able to uh, serve and switch out the low rank approximation quickly. Um, so, so that, yeah, that makes a big difference and it allows you to have lots of fine-tuned models, but not actually have lots of fine-tuned models. You have some base model and some additive component that you can, can swap quickly. And that additive component's the rank, so it's small. It means you can fit lots of users, uh, fine-tuned versions of that component in a single GPU. Um, and that, that, again, I can't stress this enough, <laughs> tends to be the bigger cost in life, is not the training of these things, but the using of them.